We missed you while you were on your um, travel. Oh, I caught, caught the bug, so oh, I had boy. to stay home and get well. stay away from everybody and get well and stuff. I'm doing pretty good. I still got a cough, so just bear with me while I'm reading my story and well, stuff, too. Well, you But I feel pretty good, and I'm happy to be back. Yeah, we missed you. <laughs> well, thank you. I appreciate it. Some of you know that I'm getting ready to retire, oh, so. Oh, bad news. <laughs> So, Miss Christie's going to be doing some interesting things, but I'm sure you guys will see me again and, and when I come in to volunteer to help with some things and stuff. So, oh, sure. anyway, we've been thinking about different stories to do because it's winter time and it's cold and it's really cold out there today. So, if you go out, bundle up really good. Um, but I was thinking of a story about I like hedgehogs. Do you like hedgehogs? I, I do. Jen? And you know they are so soft if you hold them just right. I know. Right. <laughs> they don't look like they would be, but if you get them just right, they're really soft. But yeah. they look like a little hairbrush. <laughs> I, thought would, I thought they would feel like a porcupine, but they don't. Yeah, yeah. So you have a book about hedgehogs? I have a book about hedgehog. Uh oh. And I'm just gonna read the little part here in the front that kind of talks about the story first. Okay. Kind of give you an idea of what this book's about. Okay. So winter is coming and all the animals need homes. The worms move in with the groundhogs. The possums share a burrow with the foxes and the birds and the squirrels stay in the oak tree together. The hedgehog lives in the hedge all by himself. <laughs> So I thought this would be a cute little story to read about all the little animals and how they prepare for the winter to hibernate from all the cold and the snow and even the rain that we get. Miss Christy, I just had a thought. Is a hedge like bushes? Yes. I was going to ask you if you knew oh, what, if, what a hedge is. So if the animal lives in the bushes, mm -hmm. well, isn't that funny we call it a hedge? Hog? Uh -huh. The hog is living in the hedge. Uh huh. <laughs> and I was <laughs> reading a little bit about hedgehogs this, yeah, actually you, this morning. What did you learn? And the one thing that I learned was is they'll make their places anywhere that there's like leaves and bushes and stuff. But even like um, it talked about the stuff that you use for a bonfire. Okay. If it's piled up, they'll hide in there for the winter. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. And even a stick pile. Yeah. So, and I didn't know that. Aren't they clever? They are. They're very smart. They're very cute, especially the baby ones. <laughs> <laughs> Most babies are cute, yeah. But my book is called Hedgehog, and we're going to see how they hibernate for the winter. I know Miss Christy, when she's hibernating, <laughs> she likes to sit in her chair, mm -hmm. drink her nice hot cocoa with her big old blanket on. Oh, okay. Well, let's see if Hedgehog has a blanket. <laughs> and here's the garden. The garden was bustling with creatures preparing for the winter. Look at all the creatures in there getting ready to prepare for the winter. There's a lot of them. There are. And here's Mr. Hedgehog. See him right down here? Oh, he's a little. He's in his hedge. <laughs> <laughs> All the animals were looking for a place to call home. The bees and the ladybugs shared the hives. I didn't know that they would do that. The possums moved into the burrow with the foxes. And the birds and the squirrels found a home in the old oak tree. They're right up here at the very top. And the worms and the groundhogs were neighbors. Hmm. And you know, I love it because I have a huge tree behind my house. I have two squirrels that live there. Is that right? Yep, and they've been there for several years now. Huh. They almost come up and sit with us when we're sitting on our porch. <laughs> they know you're friendly, I guess. They do. The hedgehog lived in the hedge all by himself. He liked it that way. He didn't want anybody around. Mm. He didn't want to share with anybody. He wanted to be alone. And he's got a little sign here that says, home is where the hog is. <laughs> <laughs> now the grasshopper's home was under the hedge. She lived by herself too. See her down here under the hedge? She lives underneath him. But then, ding dong, ding dong. 
Someone's coming. Someone's coming. Hello. The burrow is full. Is there any space in the hedge? <laughs> he's he's asking hog hedgehog if there's any space. Because the burrow is full, he says. Hmm. The burrow is underground, right? Underground. Well, he doesn't want to live in there, I guess. No! Oh. This is my hedge. And he even made a little sign, Miss Mary Jo, that says, Hedgehog's Hedge, right there on a leaf. Wow. He made a sign that says that. He really does not want roommates. He doesn't. It's kind of, kind of, kind of mean, isn't it? I guess he has a reason. Maybe we'll find out. I think he's just an old grumpy hedge that wants to be by himself. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, there's plenty of space under here. I'll show you. So the grasshopper invited him under the ho uh, hedgehog's place uh -huh. into the burrow. But guess what? Ding dong, ding dong. <laughs> More animals. Excuse me, sir. The tree is full. Is there any room in this hedge with you? And he's looking at him all. Mm. I think he's going to say no. He's even got a little sign there that says mine. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, he does not want to share. No, there is none. This is my hedge. Mine. Ooh. And now look at him. He got the saw out, the hammer out. He's got him some sticks. <laughs> it looks Good. like he's making a fence right there in front of his door. Oh, <laughs> so wow. They, so they can't get in. That's very unfriendly. <laughs> There's room down here. Come on in. So the little, the little critters here, they go down there with the little grasshopper. But soon after, guess what? Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. Ding dong, <laughs> ding dong, ding dong. <laughs> Hello there, the garden is full. Can we stay here in this hedge? Uh-oh. <laughs> Look how many people want to come in. Uh -oh. There is, there's a lot of people there. Lots of critters and stuff. Uh-oh. Guess what he said? <laughs> no, 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 it's mine. Hands off. Absolutely not. This is my hedge. Hmm. Boy, and look how mad he looks. Ooh. He is mad. He needs a friend. He does need a friend. Stop being such a hedgehog. <laughs> hmm. Says hedgehog. <laughs> I think that grasshopper is going to get him. <laughs> so Hedgehog slams his door. And guess what happens? No! No, 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 no! I've ruined my hedge where he slammed the door. Oh, and he it all fell apart. apart. Oh, my goodness. It came apart. Oh, sometimes that happens if you get too angry. Yep. But under the hedge, the creatures were settling in. They look so happy too. Because they're, they're safe under there and they're going to be nice and warm for the winter. What if Hedgehog has to go live there? Oh no. <laughs> but then, guess what? They Ding don't. dong! <laughs> Is there any room left here <laughs> with you? <laughs> Can I stay with you guys? Oh man. <laughs> Look, he's got his, his little clothes and everything. <laughs> I wonder if the animals will say no. Let's see. Of course there's always room for one more. Whoa. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Hello. Hey. What's up? Hi. <laughs> and I brought some pie. Hedgehog oh. brought pie. Oh, well, he knew. Hey, I'd let anybody come in for with some pie. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the snow starting to come down. The garden was bustling as the snow began to fall. Thank you, Hedgehog. You're welcome, but please call me Eugene. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Hedgehog's name was Eugene. And there's Eugene and the grasshopper sitting there eating that pie together. Aww. They did become friends. They did become friends. And it was sweet to see that even though he wasn't very nice to him, when he needed help, they were willing to help him out. 
I bet he learned how to be a better friend. I bet he did too. He was treated. But you know, when I was little, I was kind of selfish about things, and it took me a while to get there and, and to be nice. Now I'm just a, such a nice person. <laughs> you are. That's true. You know, sometimes that happens for brothers and sisters. You know, they they're not always nice to each other, and uh, then they learn to get along. Yeah, we've had some good fights when we were kids. So. <laughs> <laughs> and my mother used to say, wait till your father gets home. Oh, yeah, I remember that. No, that didn't, actually, that didn't happen in my house. My mom was like, come here, let's take care of this right Go now. take care of it now. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you have a story for us today? I do. And you weren't here last week, so you might enjoy this story. Okay. Okay. Good. Last week, we had some trouble with the technology, so... I thought I would tell the story again okay. so that everybody could hear it. And I get to hear it for the first time. You do. <laughs> you do. It's fun. Good morning, boys and girls. Hi, moms and dads, grandmas and grandpas. And I'm happy to see you today. Tomorrow begins, I have to fix this mask. It's always falling down. I don't know. I guess my nose is in I love it. That was cute. Well, thank you. Anyway, <laughs> tomorrow begins art camp for Discovery Garden down at the Carver Community Center. So we still have a few places left. Uh, if you want to register, go to the Discovery Garden Facebook page, <coughs> and it's free, of course. Well, I'm a little snowflake, soft and white, when the moon is shining <coughs> and sparkly and bright. When you see me falling, hurry out to play. You can help me make a snowball today. Bravo. Thank you for singing with me. You know, sometimes you could make a snow angel or a snow man or a snow lady or a snow dog. You can make all kinds of things out of snow. If only we would get some more, that'd be fun. <laughs> well, today's story is about polar bear cub. And we've met him before. Let's see what he's up to today. You know, he's up there in the north where it's very cold most of the year and it snows a lot. And the snow gets very, very deep. And uh, the animals like it there though, so they don't mind that it snows. And our story today takes place on such a snowy, snowy place, on a snowy, snowy day way up north. Once upon a time, there was a polar bear cub who lived with his mother in an ice cave. But his mother was sound asleep hibernating and little cub woke up and wanted to play. Now his best friend was a snow cloud. Hello, snow cloud. Hello, little bear. What do you want to play today? Asked bear cub. Well, what would you like to do? He said, well, I would really like a friend. Can you help me find a friend? Aww. Let me see what I can do, said snow cloud. So snow cloud sent down some snow and before you knew it, he had made a snowy owl. Oh my, said the bear, look, a snowy owl. He said, snowy owl, do you want to have races with me? But snowy owl did not say anything at all because he was made of snow and was not alive. Hmm, said bear, do you have any other ideas? Because snowy owl was not a very fast runner at all. Well, said the snow cloud, let me see what I can do. And he sent down the snow and he made a narwhal. And the narwhal was in the water. And Bear said, oh, I know, I will give him a fish. What a nice idea, said the snow cloud. And Bear tried to give the narwhal a fish, but the narwhal did not eat it because he was made of snow and was not alive. Hmm, said the bear, eating the fish himself. Well, Snow Cloud, do you have any other ideas? Hmm, said Snow Cloud, let me think. And he sent down some snowy drops until he had made a snow rabbit, an arctic hare. And Snow Bear said, and the bear cub said, oh, this is a wonderful friend. We can run fast and have a lot of chasing games. Do you want to play, asked the cub. But the snow hare didn't make any reply because he was made of snow. Hmm, said bear cub. I just really, really wish you would help me find a friend. 
and he took a little nap. And when he was sleeping, Snow Cloud sent another bear. And when Cub woke up, he said, Oh, Snow Cloud, look, you have made me a friend. But why is a snow a cub? It is a polar bear cub. Do you want to play? Now Cub expected the snowy, snowy bear to just sit there like all the other animals made of snow. But to his great surprise, this cub said, yes, do you want to go swimming? And <laughs> Bear was so surprised. He said, look at you, you're alive. This is wonderful. And they went running down to the sea <laughs> and splashed in and swam all day long. Aww. And wasn't it fun? Aww. Yes. The end. Very sweet. <laughs> Thank you. That snow cloud had lots of good ideas. Yeah. But the best idea was to make a living friend. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> That's so sweet. Thank you. Do you have any news for us? Um, I can't think of anything except we have wiggle worms on Monday at 11. And then, of course, our Discovery Garden again next week at 10. Yes. And I think I'm going to read a little story about a fox. A fox. Yes. I'm not going to say anything else about it. We'll You're so wait. tricky to give us that <laughs> hint and then make us wait a whole week. Miss <laughs> <Yes>, Christy. <laughs> so I think you guys will like the story. I've got it on my desk waiting for next week. And will next week be your last week and then you retire? Yes. Next Friday is my last day at the library. So. Is it true that you're going to take a trip to Alaska up where the polar bears live? Ooh, that would be lovely. It would be very chilly. It would. I'd have to take my <laughs> big fat blankets with me. Yes, you would. And your cocoa, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we are very happy to welcome you back today, Miss Christy. We Thank really you. missed you while you were gone. Thank you. I missed you guys, too. Well, so. we're glad to know you were thinking of us. Yes. Yeah. And I watched all the story times. Oh, so home. you saw Miss Kelsey when she was doing Yes, I did. Good. <laughs> and Miss Ruby and, <laughs> and everyone, huh? So, but please join me on Monday at 11 for our Wiggle Worms and, and then me and Miss Mary Jo next Wednesday at 10. Excellent. Do you have anything else? No, I don't. I guess we should say goodbye. We should say goodbye. You want to hear a little song? I would. <laughs> and we sing goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. We'll see each other soon. Chicka, chicka, boom, boom. <laughs> Bravo. Bye, guys. See you next time.